Welcome to nine special episodes of Navaratri, where we'll be talking about nine special goddesses, their powers, their wisdom, their teaching, and also their stories. Today is the second day of Navaratri, where we worship our goddess Brahmacharini. Brahmacharini is one who follows penance. Brahmacharini consists of two words, where Brahma means penance, and Charini means one who follows. Brahmacharini is one who leaves all the worldly pleasures, worldly things, and goes for the search of eternal knowledge. Brahmacharini is also the goddess of determination. She teaches us determination because during her penance, uh, where she was uh, doing the penance for thousands and thousands of years together to achieve Lord Shiva as her spouse, she would not move away from her penance. She would not eat any food. She would not drink water. She was so much determined that she totally forgot herself. Goddess Brahmacharini is also the goddess of meditation. So today we can actually learn meditation. Goddess Brahmacharini teaches us that we should not only exist in mental level but go to the higher realm of spirituality. And that is possible only through meditation. It's not that we have to meditate for years together like Brahmacharini and we should not meditate for hours together. I have discovered the spontaneous method called Sahaja Yoga Meditation. We're meditating just 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening can do wonders. It can change your life, it can improve your life at physical, mental and spiritual level. To learn Sahaja Yoga Meditation, I will put down the link in the description below. And it's completely for free, you don't have to pay a penny for it and there's no any hidden charges in it. Now I'll move on to the story part of Goddess Brahmacharini. Goddess Brahmacharini is depicted with prayer beads on one hand and Thamandal water pot in the other hand. Brahmacharini is the same goddess, Sailaputri, worshipped on the first day of Navaratri. She is also called Goddess Parvati who later on became Brahmacharini. How? The story goes like this. When Goddess Sati, the wife of Lord Shiva, had burnt herself by her own yogic energy, Lord Shiva couldn't bear all this, so he went into the deep meditation, isolating himself from the whole world. Lord Shiva would only come out of his deep meditation when his beloved Sati would come back to him. Goddess Adi Sakti, after giving up her first life as Sati, was waiting to take her another birth for reunion with Lord Shiva. At the same time, very wise king of Himalaya, Raja Himavan, and queen of Himalaya, Rani Mainavati, were praying for her offspring. Goddess Adi Sakti appeared in the dreams of Queen Mainavati and told her she was going to take birth in this world as her daughter. After knowing this, they were overwhelmed and they did every possible things to welcome Goddess Sakti as their daughter. The day when Goddess Sakti took birth in this world, whole of the Himalayas was illuminated by a divine light. It was so bright and beautiful that all the gods and goddesses left their places to see what it was. Lord Vishnu from his place Baikuntha knew her sister Sati was reborn. Goddess Sakti, being the daughter of Himalaya, was named as Parvati. Parvati comes from the word Parvat, which means hills and mountains. Since childhood, her devotion to Lord Shiva was in her bloods. Later on came her determination to marry Lord Shiva. One day when Parvati grew young, she called her parents and told them she was going to do great penance to get Lord Shiva as her husband. Though her parents knew that she was not any ordinary lady but herself, Goddess Adi Sakti, they forgot about she being Adi Sakti but saw their delicate daughter, a princess who had never faced any kinds of crisis in her whole life, but however, they didn't stop her. 
She went into the jungles and went into the penance. She did her tapasya for thousands of years, unmoved by the weather, rain, sun, wind and anything else. For the first few years, she took only fruits. After that, she took only leaves. After that, after some few years, she took only dry leaves from bale tree. After that, for thousands of years, she didn't take anything. Her great penance was hot topic for the whole world, for the whole gods and goddesses, and hence, through her deep, harsh penance, she was known as Brahmacharyani. Lord Brahma appeared to Parvati and granted her wishes will come true. And Lord Shiva was also moved by her devotion and recognized his Sakti had come back to him as Parvati. And later on they were married. This was about our mother, our goddess Brahmacharini. I will come up with the next video on the next day of Navratri. Till then, I love you and may Goddess bless you with all the happiness. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave your valuable words in the comment section below.